Today I want to do some imaging of Jupiter. Now we know that the sea star is not designed to image planets, but we can get a fairly decent image of it. Okay, decent is kind of relative. Um, I guess I should say a recognizable image of Jupiter, but um, this is how we're going to do it. So we've connected to the sea star app. Um, I am using EQ mode. And you can tell that because that little icon in the top right hand corner by the power uh, battery life icon is right there. And we are going to try and do Jupiter. So I'm going to click on the solar system and then go to Jupiter. And we don't have a whole lot of time tonight to mess with this. So hopefully we can get it to work pretty easily. Um, but I want to try stacking Jupiter you know even if we stack them we're not going to get fabulous images just because of the nature of planets but maybe we can at least get it to look like jupiter now we have jupiter centered and i have clicked the little icon in the top right to keep it centered and what i want to do first is do an autofocus we want to get it as in focus as we possibly can now this can take a couple tries because it's so overexposed on the planets that it has a hard time. And so, you know, that's not really too terribly bad. So then we're going to click on the plus and minus icon. And then in here, we're going to click on the manual down at the bottom. And we're going to adjust that and try and get it so that we can see the faint lines. And to do that, we know we need to keep some color in the planet. And so we're just going to mess with these little dials until we get a little fuzziness right there. Can you see that there's some faint lines in there? And that's what we want it to be. Um, we're going to switch the dial over here to video and make sure that we click the raw button on the right hand side. And now we're going to image this. Now while we're imaging, we're not going to image very long. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to stack these images. So I think I'm going to do about 15 seconds is all. And even that's going to take quite a bit of time to stack it. So now I've got 15 seconds of raw data. And the raw data is just saving 30 exposures per second. And so 15 seconds or, you know, I'm not sure what we actually ended up with. Let's see here. It's 16 seconds. And so what, what I've done is I've gone, let me slow down here. Or back here on this screen, we're going to click on my album. And then we're going to click on the C star. And then we're going to click on the planetary. And then I've done some recording prior to this just to iron out some bugs before I recorded. And so the, the video we just took was 16 seconds long, and I'm going to click on that. And then I can push play, and it'll play through that raw video. But I'm going to click this button up in the top right that says Stack. And it's going to take quite a a while, you know, even 10 seconds of raw footage, you know, that's 30 um, exposures per second. So it's quite a few images. And this isn't the most defined image that we've ever gotten either. So the stacking process can take a little bit of time. And I'm guessing you probably don't want to sit around and watch while I, while it clicks off because it, it can take probably thir maybe five minutes or so for it to do all of that stacking. And so what it's doing is it's taking those 30 exposures per second and it's stacking and stretching it and fitting them all together. And hopefully we'll be able to get a better image out of it. So I will bring you back when we're closer to being done. And, and just so you know, it goes really fast up until about the 60s to 70 percent range and then it goes slower as it's trying to finish up and it can you know it's going to take a lot longer to do the last 
40 percent than it was the first 60 so i'll bring you back i thought i would go over a few things while we wait for it to stack if you're in the my album and you've just pushed this play button and i'm going to zoom in so you can see it you can see the faint lines of jupiter on there but the exposure is terrible but we're hoping that if we stack it that those will get better but but you need to be able to see those lines and i'll play it again so you can see it again but um it is really difficult to get those so you have to use those little dials for the exposure and the gain until you can get some color in there because if if you don't it's going to just stack overexposed images of jupiter and so i'll play it one more time uh, you have to make sure that you can see evidence of those lines in order to stack it otherwise you're going to waste your time and you're just going to end up with a blurry picture or an overexposed one and so it is kind of a, a tenuous kind of process when you got to practice with and to be all fair i didn't get it on the first try and even after doing it several times it's hard for me sometimes to get it on the first try and so i just want you to know that a full disclosure that that sliding those little slides on the exposure and the gain is a tricky thing uh the what i use as a guide is i want to make sure that it leaves some color on the planet and that i can see those lines even if they're faint and fuzzy which they are in this case I want to make sure that they're at least there otherwise you uh, won't see them in the final version and so that's what happens so now um, we've stacked all of those let's go in here and we will um, see our result and so there's our stacked result and you know this isn't a fabulous picture but it's definitely identifiable as Jupiter. You could export this. You can do the editing in the software and you can change its colors and, you know, you can darken it just like you do any other image. And, you know, even in the app, it can do pretty good. You know, see that? That doesn't look too bad. Um, it keeps doing that little dial thing when you move things. Uh, you can crop it. You can rotate it. But, you know, that you know for a 10 second raw video stacking it that does pretty good you know especially for a telescope that isn't designed to do planets you know we could export this um i'm going to click done here we could click the little button at the bottom right and export it into save it as a jpeg on our phone we could also use these images in other post-processing. I wanted to just use the app so you can see what is available and capable with the telescope itself and the C-Star app. And you know, that's, it's nothing that we're gonna print and hang on our wall, but you know, it's kind of fun to be able to kind of conquer the system because we're not supposed to be able to image planets, but that definitely is Jupiter. So I hope you've learned something today. It's not an exact science. It takes some patience to, to get this right. Um, I would stick to about 10 to 15 seconds, any more than that. And it just takes so long to do the stacking that it is overwhelming. And then you're waiting so long and you end up with a blob of light and not a, something nice. So at least perfect the the dials and the exposure and the gain numbers so before you record for longer um, but this is how i have done jupiter and you know it's kind of a fun little project so give it a try let me know how it works for you send me some of your pictures i mean i'm i know a lot of you are much better at post-processing than i am and so i'd love to see some of your images we could export these and do them in Cyril or Pixinsights or Graxpert or any of those, even Photoshop, you know, to make it even better. But this is straight off the C Star using the C Star app. So I thought that was a, a fun way to do it. 
So enjoy. Hope you learned something. We'd love to have you along on our journey as we learn things and share them on the channel. And so feel free to subscribe, share your images. We'd love to see them. And we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Thanks for watching.